Lisa Venter Nielsen here from The Next Step, making a quick vlog to talk more about my stock valuation post, as well as what I think about LinkedIn and how you could use LinkedIn. So just a quick overview. We talk a little bit about the Super Bowl, and I just want to remind you that if you did win on any of your boxes, which I know that maybe maybe every other person watching this video had a box, if you did make money, please consider investing it in yourself. My business, The Next Step, has seminars, resume, cover letters, and the infamous LinkedIn overhaul, all available for you and done by me, which I think is pretty cool because I'm pretty awesome at this stuff. I've been doing it for over 15 years. Find out more at thenextstep1234.com. So that was my little commercial to get you to consider hiring me to help you take your next step. But if you're not interested in doing that just now, just sit tight and listen a little bit about my lesson. So I talk about stock valuation. LinkedIn had a very bad Friday. They lost a huge amount of value, quote unquote, in terms of their stock price. And I kind of started to think about how I teach my students about stock price valuation and that idea that there's an equilibrium point where the stock price is equal to the value of the company. And a lot of what I tell my students is that that is really, really difficult to prove and to identify, particularly when you think about a company that has more than 20 to 100 people. So a company like LinkedIn or like Yahoo with thousands and thousands of employees. And a lot of my work experience was with large corporations with thousands and thousands of employees. It is very difficult for everyone to understand and know what each department or each individual is working on and how they're working on it and when they're working on it. So if you don't see everything, it's hard for you to really know what things are worth. And I think that's a big part of how corporate stock valuation can become a little bit more about perception and ideas than actual reality and that equilibrium becomes really hard to pinpoint. So I think LinkedIn will be fine. I was asking if anyone knows of any alternatives to LinkedIn. I really feel that the research is out there saying that LinkedIn is where hiring managers go. It's where um, jobs are posted first. And then that got me to thinking about the LinkedIn product that I offer for $150, I spend at least 10 hours working on your LinkedIn profile and making it shine. And then I also bundle it with the resume as well as the cover letter for $300, which is value pricing. So think about it. LinkedIn is here. I don't think it's going anywhere and I can help you be ready to take your next step. So the next step, 1234.com. Happy hunting.